hello friends <clears throat> today we are going to discuss about the anti platelet drugs the anti platelet drugs act by blocking three receptors and two enzymes these anti platelet drug which blocks the enzymes the enzymes which are blocked are cox enzyme and phosphodiesterase enzyme and the receptors which are blocked by the anti platelet drugs are three receptors first is glycoprotein 2b3 a receptors are blocked by this drug and also adp receptor which is p2 y12 receptor is blocked by this anti platelet drug and also there is another receptor recently new drugs coming with, that blocks the protease activated receptors the drug in this group are vora paxer vora paxer and atopaxer atopaxer these are the new drugs which recently come for blocking the receptors of proteases activated receptors which is also called as thrombin receptors present on the platelet then first we discuss about the enzyme blocking drugs first is first drug which blocks the enzyme is aspirin and aspirin drug aspirin blocks the cox enzyme it blocks both cox 1 as well as cox 2 because of the blockage of the cox enzyme since we know that cox is enzyme is involved in the synthesis of thromboxane and as well as prostacyclines which is pgi2 the point here to note is that it reduces the level of both thromboxane as well as pgi2 but the level of pgi2 remains slightly higher than the thromboxane a2 the reason for this is since pgi2 is produced by the endothelium of the vessel and endothelium has a nucleus so when aspirin is given the both levels when decreases but pgi soon start increasing because of the presence of the nuclei but thromboxane level does not increase because it is produced by the platelets and platelets don't have the nucleus so for that fresh platelets had has to be generated to produce the thromboxane because of which there is less level of thromboxane and we all know pgi2 is anti platelet aggregator and the net effect is anti aggregated or anti platelet reduction okay then aspirin works as anti platelet drug at low dose which is 40 to 325 mg and another point you have to remember is aspirin does not reduce the thromboxane does not block the thromboxane synthetase enzyme but it reduces the thromboxane synthesis by blocking the cox enzyme not the thromboxane synthetase enzyme This enzyme is blocked by another drug, which is dazo dazoxiban, which is dazoxiban. Okay, then this is about the first enzyme, Cox enzyme, which is blocked by the aspirin. Then another enzyme which is blocked by the antiplatelet drugs is phosphodiesterase enzyme. This enzyme is blocked by diperidamol. When this get blocked, since phosphodiesterase is involved in the degradation of CAMP, when it is blocked. the camp level uh, camp cannot be degraded and its level remain high and because of which there is increased pgi2 which is post process cycling and the net effect is anti platelet after the enzymes we will now discuss about the we will now discuss about the receptor blocking anti platelet drug the first receptor is glycoprotein 2b3 a receptor blocker these drugs are very strongest anti platelet drug since this receptor is present on the platelet and when it gets blocked uh, no no substance like adp thromboxane can aggregate the can aggregate the platelet all ag agonist cannot work on this receptor that's why it is the strongest anti platelet drug and the drugs in this group are abciximab abciximab tirofiban and ibtifibatide okay Now, but slightly difficult. You have to remember abciximab, tirofiban, and abtifibatide. Okay, and abciximab or abciximab is non-specific blocker. It not only blocks this receptor like a protein two B three A blocker, but it also block other receptors like alpha V and beta three and alpha M and beta two. Because of blockage of these uh, alpha V and beta three and alpha M beta two. it acts as an anti-inflammatory as well as an anti-proliferative drug okay 
while tyrofibon and epifeptidase are specific blocker of these receptors okay and also these are long acting when present in the plasma freely whereas atsiximab is short acting when freely present in the plasma but when it is combined with the platelet it is it acts as a long acting okay then tyrofibon actually are, are excreted through kidney okay and atsiximab is a monoclonal antibody okay bleeding is the side effect of all the antiplatelet drug but uh, here thrombocytopenia in this case is the most serious side effect of, of this receptor blocker glycoprotein 2b3a okay now we will discuss about the adpp2 y2 receptor blockers okay now in this group there are two drugs one are the reversible that reversibly block this receptor and another is irreversible blocker okay adp by blocking the adp receptors the platelets cannot be aggregated and that's why there occurs the antiplatelet action reversible blocker for adp receptors we have two drugs one is ticagrelor you can remember that it is reversible as re comes in these drugs ticagrelor and cangrelor okay cangrelor is given through iv route and it is used in during percutaneous coronary intervention as an as an adjunctive treatment okay while tica, ticagrelor is given orally and it has more greater and predictable action as compared to the irreversible blockers okay in the irreversible blocker we have three drugs one is ticlopidone ticlopidine clopidogrel and prasugrel okay i repeat ticlopidine clopidogrel and prasugrel these are the irreversible adp receptor blocker ticlopidine and clopidogrel are products okay they go to the liver where they are metabolized by the enzyme cytochrome p2 c19 okay and they are converted into active metabolites and you mm, have to remember here is the point that ppi or the and they bl they block they they inhibit this enzyme and as a result of which when ppi is given the they cannot be these diclopidine and clopidogrel cannot be converted into active metabolites and their antiplatelet action remains at the lower side so ppi should be avoided in those patients who are on diclopidine and clopidogrel okay the side effect of these drug that they cause the low wbc count and low blood red count and by gi gastrointestinal side effect are the most common side effect with the use of these drugs Parasugrel for parasugrel it is stronger platelet anti platelet as compared to the ticlopidine and clopidogrel and it also has fast onset of action fastest acting okay because of its strongest nature it should be avoided in patient more than sent fire and also in those with history of stroke okay uses of this anti platelet drug we give it for the myocardial infarction prophylaxis aspirin is here most commonly used we also used in patient with artificial heart valves and cerebrovascular disease okay thank you thank you keep smiling